When you're studying at university, you're expected to learn with far greater independence than at school. It's one of the key differences between school and higher education, and adjusting to that expectation could be one of the main challenges when you're making the transition to university. There's a lot more freedom, and with greater freedom comes greater responsibility. Independent learning also underpins our graduate framework, and it's built on throughout your degree as you progress to independent research projects in your final year, onto a future career, or maybe postgraduate level study. It doesn't mean that we're just going to leave you to get on with it though. There'll be plenty of structure, guidance and support, so you can really take advantage of independent learning and get far more out of your degree, learning the things that you want to learn more deeply and in the best way for you. Independent learning can mean a number of things and key to all of them is the idea of taking responsibility for your own learning. What's your degree after all? And who better than you to take ownership of it? Monitoring your own performance and setting your own learning goals around where and how much you need to improve. You'll get marks and feedback on your work, but you're the only one who can decide what you want to do about it. You'll also have more scope to learn in the way that suits you best. So it's up to you to experiment and figure out what works for you. There's often more than one effective way to learn. Making decisions about what you want to learn. Universities have a lot more freedom than schools about what they teach. And at this level, knowledge is much more complex and the curriculum's more open-ended. So you'll also have a lot more scope within your studies to be self-directed, explore and make your own critical decisions from which modules to take to what to note down in a lecture, which topics, examples or approaches to focus on in your coursework and what skills and experience you want to develop. Taking the initiative to seek out further advice, guidance, information and knowledge. Your lecturers can set learning outcomes and recommended readings as a starting point or guide, but only you know what you need to meet your own learning goals, whether that's reading around your subject to find answers to your own study questions and further what you already know, or seeking out some guidance on how best to improve your own academic skills, language fluency, employability or well-being. Making sure that learning happens. Academic staff can provide you with lectures, readings, online resources, webinars, seminars, labs and other classes, but teaching isn't learning. That can only happen in your head. Learning's an active process and only you can put in the work of understanding and memorising what you need to know, putting it into practice at higher levels of thinking, such as analysing, evaluating or creating new knowledge. This can mean participating actively in class or engaging with assessment. But it also means what happens in the less structured time outside of a class, webinar or assignment as you're preparing, rehearsing or reviewing your learning. Organising your learning. It's your degree, so it's only appropriate that you're in charge of motivating and organising yourself, whether that's creating your own study schedule, ensuring you're aware of deadlines and other information you need to know, summoning the discipline to stick to your plans and making the most of non-timetabled study time, and also finding a healthy work-life balance. At university, you're not just treated as a responsible adult, but you're also supported in becoming someone who can think critically and creatively, make their own decisions and follow their own interests in this increasingly broad and complex exploration of your subject. Independent learning doesn't mean that we're just leaving you to it, but we know that learning at this high level can't be done by spoon-feeding or simplifying things for you. You won't suddenly be thrown in the deep end on your own but you'll have opportunities during your first year to develop your academic skills, get the most out of your studies and become a confident, independent learner for the rest of your degree and for life.